this is about to be tragic. Hey guys, my name's Janasia, sometimes I go by Jay, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you're not new here. I have a very interesting story time for you guys today. Now, I wasn't going to tell this story at first, like at all. <laughs> like just because it's pretty embarrassing to me or what well, it was pretty embarrassing to me and I didn't want to talk about it or like any of that and I didn't find it funny at all. <laughs> but you know, now since it's some, some time has passed, I can laugh about it and joke about it and whatever the case is and I'm gonna tell the story because the story is just insane like literally it's literally this is something I swear that would only happen in in movies like like a lifetime movie and I'm not making this video to bash anybody you know talk crazy about anything I'm literally telling a, a true, real life story. Like, everything I'm about to say is all facts. With that being said, let's get into the video. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. This will be a story time about how I, Janasia, found out that I was being cheated on. <sighs> okay, so just to give y'all a little background information, I guess. Um, so me and this person were dating for a couple months. Um, how long? Hold on, because it was like six, seven months. It was probably, yeah, it was like six, seven months we were dating. And that's when I found out. And everything was pretty cool, though. Like, I didn't think that there were any issues or problems I thought we had open communication like it was it was good it was good on my end within like that last month not even that last month but like a couple days before we had broken up or maybe like a week or two the vibe was just off like just the vibe was just off you know how you can feel when something is wrong or just wrong with someone or someone has an attitude or just you know something's wrong with them when you're with someone all the time you can tell when something's up and that's just what it felt like it felt like something was wrong my intuition was just telling me something's wrong but i i didn't know what it was because the way the relationship was i would have never even thought that i was being cheated on like i literally had no clue like i said the vibe was off um he was always thinking like something was wrong with me or like there was a problem and literally nothing would be wrong with me. I would have no issues, I'd have no attitude, no nothing. I'd be chilling and he'd always think something was wrong with me and obviously he thought something was wrong with me because he probably thought I knew what the fuck he was doing. Probably thought that he was caught and that I knew and was plotting or whatever the case was. But yeah, so that was his guilty conscience <laughs> coming out of him trying to, you know, push it up on me, making it seem like I had attitude about something or I did something or whatever the case was. So that was that. Now one day we're in a car going somewhere to pick something up and he's just on his phone a little too much, a little bit too, a little, a little more than usual. And he's just texting really fast and it was just weird. It, it, it wasn't, it was out of it was out of the normal like it was that wasn't how you don't be on his phone like that okay so he had got out the car and when he got out the car a text message popped up on the phone and it had a girl's name on it a girl's name that i've never heard of before she was like never mentioned nothing ever and all like the girls or friends or whatever they were that were females I knew of, they were mentioned before, like, so this was new. And so I opened up the message. Um, yeah, I opened up the message because if something was going on, I was gonna find out right then and there, like I needed to know. So I opened up the message um, because clearly, you know, my intuition gut was feeling off. So I opened up the message and the message wasn't really nothing too crazy. Um, 
And so when he got back in the car, I just brought it up like, not knowing he got back in the car, when we got back to the house, I brought it up, matter of fact. And I was just like, so who was that? Da 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 da. And you know, niggas, that was a family friend, blah blah blah. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna let it go. And after that, my gut feeling and my intuition was still telling me, like, nah, that wasn't it. Like, that wasn't what you were looking for. Something is, something, it's something deeper than that. Something's wrong. I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling at this point because I don't really know what to do. I don't, you know? So I, I just kind of let it be. So yeah, I let it go. We're chilling, like watching a movie or something. And we end up taking a nap. And I kid you not, something wakes me up from my nap. And it's legit telling me, Neja, go through the phone. Neja, go through his phone. Like, go through his phone right now. You need to go through it. And I'm I'm legit half asleep. My conscience, my body, everything inside of me is telling me to go through the phone. But like, I'm sleeping, so I'm not even really, I'm not worried about it like that, like that. I'm trying to sleep. So I'm like, chill, like I don't wanna go through the phone. I don't need to go through it. Whatever I need to see, it'll come out. But the feeling was just so strong. I couldn't like, I couldn't brush it off. So I had to go through the phone. <laughs> <laughs> um so i go through the phone and i first i go through like snapchat and instagram you know i see like people's names or whatever but i can't really see the messages because snapchat you know everything deletes there wasn't nothing in instagram and then so i go to the messages now this is where she is about to go down okay so i go through the messages and in the messages there is a contact saved as unicorn now <laughs> i don't know about y'all but i don't know anybody with a name unicorn that's not a normal name that's some weird shit going on so i click it and when i click it i just scroll all the way to the top immediately so i can see like you know what's what's this what's going on and the very first message I see is from my boyfriend, and um, he says, um, the next time we link up, does it have to be at nighttime again, or can it be during the day? And right there, I'm already shook because it's like, he, he stayed with me. So it's like, you're with me 24-7. When did when did you find time to go link up with somebody and just okay? Because I had no idea that he linked anybody. He has no friends where we live, so it was just real confusing to me. The only people that he knows around where we live is legit like his family, and so that was that. The person then goes. Um, like, can you remind me who this is? I don't like really remember who this is. And my boyfriend says these exact words. Maybe not the exact words, but this was what was said. This is the nigga, or this is the black boy who fucked you and your wife. Did you hear did you hear what I said? Let me let me repeat. He, the message that he sent said, this is the black boy that fucked you and your wife. You and your wife, okay? My mind is racing. Like, you and your wife, you and your wife? Like, is it two girls? Like, <laughs> yeah. So, I keep on scrolling, and the person's like, oh yeah, basically, this is when COVID was just starting, so the person was basically like, oh, we're just taking extra precautions because of COVID right now, but once COVID is lifted, like, we'll hit you up, and we can link or whatever, like, send me a picture and remind me, like, whatever, whatever. The nigga went and sent a picture of himself in his boxers. Like... So at this point, I don't really need to see too much else of the messages. I'm calling the number. So 
at this point I got my mom involved because I was just so shook I didn't know what to do um yeah I needed to figure out what I was going to do before I woke him up and yeah I just need to figure out what I was going to do so I go to my mom I'm like look at this look at this look at this I'm literally shaking like I, I don't know what to do I'm shaking I'm pissed like pissed so we end up calling the number and when we call the a guy answers the phone a Spanish man answers the phone and I'm like I'm like okay I'm like is this your phone he's like yeah this is my phone this is my number yada 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 I'm like, you don't have any daughters that like use your phone? Like, you use your phone, no one else touches your phone. He's like, yeah, like, no, I don't have no daughters. This is my phone, my phone only, no one goes on this phone, like, I use it. I'm like, you have a wife? He's like, yeah, I have a wife. I'm like, all right, bet. That was all I needed to hear. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> okay. So clearly, the nigga had a threesome. And he wasn't contacting the wife. He was contacting the man. Yeah. Sit on that. He was contacting the man the whole time. And now I am flabbergasted to say the least, okay? flabbergasted like I don't I don't I don't know I've never dealt with anything like this I don't know what to do and so at this point he's starting to wake up so you know I gotta go put the phone back in <laughs> be chill but so he wakes up and he ends up going to the bathroom and honestly I just walk into the bathroom and I kind of like just lock the door and I'm like okay I went through your phone so either tell me the truth or like what what is it what's going on as soon as i said that the nigga freaking he like put his hands instantly to his face and he like slid back to the wall and just it slowly fell down like 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 this and sat on the floor it was quiet i was like like bro like you gotta be shitting me like You gotta be shitting me. This is not happening. So, um, yeah. So then when he does that, obviously, I'm just like, okay, like, this is some shit. Like, <laughs> this is some shit. And he's like, just quiet. And I'm like, hello. Like, I know you heard me. Obviously, I know. Like, say something. And he tries to yell at me. Like, and I'm like, hold on, hold on. Pause. You have no right to be upset, to be mad, to be trying to yell at me, to be any of that. Because you're in the wrong. And so after I said that, you know, he calmed down or whatever. Mind you, I'm not even, I'm not even spazzing like how I should be. Like, I'm so proud of myself because the old me, dead ass, would have, I wouldn't have done none of the shit that I did. After I saw whatever in the messages, I would have woke his ass up and it would have been, it would have been a fight, honestly. It would have been a fight. <laughs> but I was real calm, cool, and collective just because, like, <laughs> you know what? I, I don't be trying to have people bring me out of bring me out of my character. I be trying to be real nice to people. And maybe that's my issue. And just not being so nice to people. <laughs> but, so yeah. So I'm just being real calm, cool. I'm not raising my voice, not doing none of that. And so eventually, yeah, he tells me, you know, he cheated. And... It was a threesome with a man and a woman. And I didn't really want to know any of the details because at this point, <laughs> at this point, I'm thinking you're gay. I'm being completely honest. Like in my head, I'm like, okay, you're gay. I know some people might be like, oh, he could be bi or whatever the case is, whatever, whatever. Whatever it is, whatever he is, it's fine. I'm just not going to be with someone that's doing that. Okay? Um, <laughs> and so 
I asked him though, like after all that, I was just like, so are you gay? And he said no. Which, you know, if you don't think you're gay, I mean, you don't think you're gay, but in my head, you're gay and I'm gonna let you rock. So now we're kind of just discussing the whole situation, like why, when did you find the time to even do shit like this? And the why doesn't even really fucking matter. Like it's, it was some shit that could have been fixed at the end of the day. Um... And when you ask him, like, why he, when did he find the time or whatever the case was, it was, oh, Nasia was always at work or at school and I was home alone or this at the third, not doing shit, <laughs> fucking around while I'm going, bettering myself, getting myself together, getting my shit together. <laughs> You're out here doing me dirty. Bet. <laughs> so I ain't gonna lie. That shit hurt. <laughs> I was hurt for a couple of days. <laughs> for a couple of days. I mean, nah, like truly, truly hurt. I was truly, truly hurt for like a couple of days because I, I treated him better than I treated any of my past relationships, boyfriends, whatever you want to call it. But like, yeah. And like I said, I really never would have stopped because he didn't treat me no differently. He wasn't, I don't know, I was like, he treated me very nicely. He treated me well, like he was a nice guy. There was never no instance of, oh yeah, maybe he's cheating on me. Like, so when I found out, I was literally shook, shook as fuck. And yeah, so I basically just left that whole situation alone. Um, and come to find out, the contact was saved as Unicorn because Unicorn is actually an app where couples go to find threesomes or people go to find threesomes with other couples. <sighs> and even still now, thinking about the shit has me blown, mind blown because So, moral of the story is, niggas ain't shit, niggas is sus, and you know, stay single, <laughs> live your best life because you only have one life, and I mean, you don't want to be wasting it with the wrong, with the wrong people. So now, honestly, I'm through. <laughs> I'm so through with relationships and all that. Hit me when I'm like 26. 25 maybe then i'll see what type of time niggas is on but until then i'm gonna stay single and i'm gonna live my best life and i'm gonna just do me so that was my little story time for today of how i found out i was getting cheated on <sighs> i hope y'all are having better luck in y'all love lives um i don't know maybe god will bless me one day but till then but thank you guys for tuning in i hope you guys enjoyed the little story time um you know like comment subscribe leave anything in the comments of any video ideas and yeah, i'll see you guys in the next video